Hello, my eighth grade lovelies. Let's go through, and I know some of you are having some trouble with the parallel lines cut by transversal with the angles. So I'm gonna go through the angles and just explain what things mean. So first I wanna go through the keywords that we're gonna have here. So these are called parallel lines. Let's see, let me get it so I can see, see it good. Parallel lines. And these things are lines that never touch. These lines never touch. This is called a trans... A transversal. So here, when you hear this, you'll this is parallel lines cut by a transversal. That's what this is called. That's what our, that's what we're looking at. That's what the standards can call it. That's what the EOG is going to call it. Cut by transversal. Some other things that you're going to hear is exterior and interior. So first, exterior means. Let me get it to where I can write good for you guys. Okay, perfect. Exterior means outside and interior means inside so we have exterior and interior in what we're doing so where would that be in the parallel lines cut by a transversal well you're looking at what's inside of the boxes with the parallel lines so this, these are all interior angles because they're inside of the parallel lines. Now outside of the parallel lines is where you're gonna find your exterior angles. So when you hear about like one of ours, it's gonna be alternate interior, alternate exterior. We're looking at inside of the lines or outside of the lines. All right. Let's go forward into alternate interior. The biggest thing that you can learn about when you're doing anything with alternate, think about a Z every time. So I'm gonna start this way and I'm gonna make a Z. Now I have a Z, okay? Look at these angles here. I have angle A, and angle B, interior on the inside, okay? Those angles are alternate interior. And what does that mean? They equal. So now I know that A equals B. Angle A and angle B equal. But those are not the only alternates. Those are not the only interior angles that are there. I can also draw a backwards Z. And when I do that, I now have inside angle C, angle D. And what do I know about alternate interior? They equal. So I also now know that angle C is angle D. Another key term, this means angle. That symbol right there. So I'm saying angle C equals to angle D. Angle A equals to angle B. So whenever you hear alternate, automatically, alternate interior, automatically draw your lines. All right, let's continue on and we're gonna look at alternate exterior. I still see the word alternate, so I'm still gonna draw my Z. Let's go ahead and draw my first C. I'll draw what a regular Z looks like. But this time I'm looking at the outside. So if I look here, that's interior. Where's my exterior? There. So I have angle A there. Look at my other point. Where is my outside? Look, it has to be on the same line as my top and bottom. There's my other one. So I know that alternate means they equal. So I know that angle A equals angle, whoopsie, B. Again, you do not, you have more than one. So let's draw my opposite. 
Look at the top of your Z. Look at your line. What angle is above it since we're doing exterior? Angle C. What angle? Here's my other line. What angle is below angle D? So I also now know that angle C equals angle D. Those are, anytime you have alternate, they equal. Alternates equal every time. There's gonna be four main types, or five main types of angles. One of those we learned last year, so it's a review. But there's four main types of angles that are new this year. These are first two, let's continue on. Next we have supplementary. Supplementary we learned last year. So it's angles that form a line and they equal, how many degrees is a straight line? 180 degrees. So now there's several ones you could do each time, but if I drew my straight line, this is gonna be 180. So that means that angle A and angle B, whatever, whatever is here and whatever is here, has to equal 180. So that means angle A plus angle B equals 180. And we're gonna get into some more of, well, what if this is X plus three and this is 22? I'm gonna do another video tomorrow on how to solve equations, just a refresher with that. So it's that supplementary, that's something we learned last year. Vertical is also something that we learned last year. Vertical is where you're gonna have an X, okay, and then things opposite the X are equal. So I'm gonna find an X in my thing. There's an X. So if I have an angle here, what is opposite here? If I have one here, what is opposite here? So that means angle A equals angle B. and angle C equals angle D, okay? That's a vertical angle. And the last one is corresponding. Corresponding is where you're gonna have one on the outside and one on the inside, okay? So what that means is, let's say I have an angle here, A. Where would the, on the same, so let me write that down too, it's gotta be on the same line. If I'm going on the same line, angle B right here, one on the outside, one on the inside. It can't be here because then that would make it a supplementary angle. But uh, outside, inside, and they equal. So A and B, it couldn't be over here because those are opposite, those are on the different lines. It's gotta be on the same line. All right, I'm going to scan these notes in so you can look at them um, on Google Classroom. I'm also gonna post the video. So, um, I hope this helps everybody.